Hi everyone, this is Chris here with Everyday VBA. In this video, I'm going to show you how to select a cell. So if you are looking at a cell on a sheet and you're like, hey, via code, I want to be able to select that. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to dig right in. I've got my Visual Basic Editor open. I've got my Excel open. If you don't have that open, you can just hit Alt F11 as I readjust the size of my screen. Um, hit Alt F11, it'll open up this. First thing we need to do is we need to add a module. That module is where you're going to put your code. It opens up a blank sheet in your code window. We're going to call this sub uh, select cells. Okay, now the selection is really easy. Um, so we're not we're not going to overcomplicate it. The cell syntax is cells, and then you're going to do row syntax. So we're going to go row 10. We're going to go column 3, and I'm going to hit dot select. I'm going to hit F8, F8, and it selects that cell. Now there's a couple cool things that you can do with this. Um, you can actually add a variable in here. So if we wanted x equals 1, we could go cells 10, comma 1, or comma x, dot select. And if I hit F8, it's going to select 3, and then it's going to select column 1 using that variable. Um, that's typically how you're going to do loops. Uh, if you want to loop through, um, going to loop through some cells. It's a good way to do that. Um, that is basically how you do it. It's, there's really not much more to it. You can also use activate, I believe. That's how you do it for sheets. So just, just make sure this works. Don't want to put in, put in any bad code. So cells select and activate works. Um, one of the things that you've got to be careful of is, for example, if we went sheet two dot cells. 10 comma 1 dot select. This is going to error out. It's going to error out 1 because sheet 2 doesn't exist. And I'm going to get a uh, runtime error saying, hey, wait a sec, you can't select it. So what I would have to do is, one, I would have to have a sheet 2, which now I do. Um, so it's still going to give me that error. But if I'm going to select that cell, that's happening on the user on the interface. Um, and so you're going to want to go sheet 2 dot select and we will see if this works that's funny call it sheet three huh that's funny all right uh, so we're going to call that sheet three and then if we use select it's going to select that and then we're going to select that so um, you do have to make sure that when you're using selection that you are on that actual sheet I uh, went into a little bit of detail here hope that's helpful make sure that you're subscribing to the everyday VBA channel as well as if you like the video, click like. If you have a comment or question, put that in the comments. And I hope you enjoy it.